Now, I'm not saying don't start a clothing brand, but that's really in you and that's your passion. But in my humble opinion, clothing brands are oversaturated. So this is why you should start a sunglasses brand because it's way more market share to grab and way more cost efficient. Now, let me show you. Now, let's use YouTube, for example. If you type in clothing brand, you'll usually see a clothing brand, another clothing brand, another clothing brand, another clothing brand. Opposed to typing in sunglasses brand, you'll see someone ranking top sunglasses brands, the truth about designer sunglasses. Finally, one person with a sunglasses brand. How I print sunglasses in a 3D printer. Is this night and day? <laughs> so my first point is longevity. Clothing trends seem to come and go, but sunglasses are always in style. You ever heard the phrase fashion comes back around? Well, sunglasses never leave and they stay around, which means that sunglasses brands have a potential to have a longer shelf life than clothing brands, as sunglasses are a timeless accessory that people will continue to wear year after year. When you go to a Goodwill or thrifting store, it's all kind of clothes, but a little amount of shades, and you know why? Because people keep their shades, unless they lose them or break them, or their kids take them. Those are the only three reasons you get rid of shades. <laughs> Now this next point is very important. Lower production costs. Clothing production tends to be way more complex, way more labor intensive than sunglasses production, which can drive up costs. Sunglasses on the other hand tend to have a lower production cost, making it a more cost efficient option for aspiring fashion entrepreneurs. So think about what budget you coming into this with. What's your capital? Like if you have a lower capital and you think about you want to do something in fashion, consider sunglasses because it's way cheaper to get into that than it is a clothing brand. Next, easier inventory management. Now don't sleep on this because you, you don't you don't think about this before you start. You don't even think about this once you got started. Did I tell you stop doing that shit? <laughs> but clothing brands often have to deal with a wide range of sizes and styles, which can lead to higher inventory costs and more complexity in managing that stock. Sunglasses, on the other hand, tend to come in fewer size options, making it easier to manage inventory and keep my costs down. Like, if you have a clothing brand, you got to worry about, all right, size inclusivity. Do I need smalls, extra smalls, large, mediums, extra large? How big do I go? With sunglasses, of course, there's different face shapes, but we got different styles. We have wider frames, slicker frames, square frames. So I don't have to worry about, oh, my God, I need to get these shades in a medium, a large, and a small. It just don't work like that with sunglasses, which makes it way easier, way easier to manage inventory than it would be a clothing brand. Now let's talk about audience. Sunglasses are worn by people of all ages, races, genders, and styles, which means that sunglasses brands has the potential to reach a wider audience than a clothing brand that may be targeting a specific age group or style demographic. Like for example, I may like wearing jeans with the holes in the knees and this holes in it and it's distress, but my dad may not like that at all. He's a 60 something year old man, but he will like wearing these black shades that I also like wearing. So more people will wear a similar style of shades than they wear clothing. <laughs> If that makes sense to you, like think about it, like you and your parents have a totally different style. You and your friends may have a totally different style, but most of the time you all rock the same shades, even though there's different sh um, styles of shades, there's always something out there for people. Now my last point, year round sales. Clothing is often more affected by seasonality than sunglasses, which means that a clothing brand may experience slower sales during certain times of the year opposed to a sunglasses brand, can potentially see consistent sales year round as sunglasses are worn in all seasons. Like for a clothing brand, once it starts getting cold, you gotta stop selling those t-shirts and shorts. Now, of course, some brands still sell that, but most likely you're gonna transition into sweaters and hoodies and sweatpants. And guess what? All that costs more, especially if you want quality. Now, sunglasses, I don't have to think about none of that. I may have to think about the colors, but other than that, I'm pretty good with what I have in my inventory. Now, I know people wear the bright colors in summer and spring, but we also got the blacks and the darker colors for winter, and the sun is still out in the winter, so people still going to protect their eyes. And that's what I love about sunglass brands. It's consistent year-round. So those were my points. And of course, starting any business comes with its own set of challenges, and it's important to go through your market research and think about your capital and your financial planning before diving in. But if you're considering starting a fashion brand, it may be worth considering the benefits of starting a sunglasses brand. 
Now, if I didn't convince you in that video, make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for part two, because I'm going to dive in on the shipping side. Woo!